What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Shane here from Let's Go Gaming. Um, I had a few issues with the computer and software and that, so that's why I'm bringing you such a late uh, series on the Bolton series, um, late episode. But uh, let's run through a few things. As you can see here, we're sitting in ninth, uh, in second place, played nine games, won six, drawn two, lost one. We're on 20 points. So we're two points behind, but uh, goal difference, we're pretty much up there, uh, almost in comfortably in our first place, like six, uh, top goal scorers. Um, yeah, I've had a, a, a decent run at the moment, so we look at our schedule. Uh, let's just go into competitions only. Um, and then you can see how we've done this. So the only game we lost was in the sky bet was against Birmingham. We got knocked out of the Caribou Cup. So yeah, it was a bit unfortunate. Uh, Brentwood 2-1. Two, two, then Ipswich 5-3. Uh, decent games. And then Middlesbrough as well. 3-0 was quite a decent game. This was quite a tough biter here. Um, young striker. Tyler Walker, who's on loan from Nottingham Forest, he's got got two goals in that game, so that was pretty decent. Um, he's played two games, he's got three goals, two assists, average rating of seven point eight five. So yeah, he, he got the nod to get into the first team squad, so we're quite happy about that. Uh, <coughs> then uh, one of our, you see, he got another two goals there. Um, Victor, a new signing, he got a goal in there. Victor has also been playing pretty well. Um, he's played four games, three on the bench. His re average rating is at seven. He has got uh, one goal so far this season. Then the next game, Alex Perry, also a youngster. Johan Molo coming in off, um, from the new signings. He's played six games, four goals, two assists, average of 7.55, which is good. And then I'll just show you Alex Perry. Alex Perry is 19 years old. He got the nod in because of uh, slight um, depth. We didn't really have much depth, but I rotate him quite a bit with another youngster, giving the two youngsters each even turns. He's played two games, got one goal, one assist, and he's on a 7.95 rating, which is pretty decent as well. Then we look at the next one. Um, Jim Carrigan has got two goals. Zach Clough has got the one goal there. Sebastian, also new signing, came in, he got one goal. Sebastian hasn't been doing so bad either. Four games, one goal, one assist, 7.1. So he's also pretty decent. But uh, yeah, um, show you the squad. I changed my tactic to a 5-2-3. Um, we weren't doing so well with the strike list. Um, I didn't have much possession at all, so I changed to this and I got a lot more possession. There's Alex Perry there, and then the other youngster that I've been talking about is uh, Mitchell. Um, he's also come in. Then Alex Brighton has come in as well. Um, Jack Turner also brought him in, but he hasn't played any games. And um, yeah, so so those are the decent young guys that I brought in from the squad, the under 21 squads and the under 18 squads. And then Jeff King is the other youngster that plays between Perry 7.14, so that's not bad. And then you can see 7.95. He's a lot better player there. But uh, yeah, um, check out King's stats here. He's played four games, he's got one goal. His average rating is 6.88 in the games. Overall, a 7.33, so it's not too bad. And if we compare him with Alex Perry, so they're pretty evenly part out. Um, King is slightly better in his aerials and mental. Technical, they're even. Attacking uh, is slightly better there, but he hasn't performed as well as... Perry has uh, show you the attributes. You see, it's it's more of a one-sided towards Jeff King, but they're both 19 years old. Or oh, sorry, well, um, Jeff Jeff is 21. Alex Perry is 19, so they're close age. It's pretty good. So yeah, it's it's very close call, close games on there. And then I brought in Lefonde. He's played uh, 
one game off the bench. Um, doesn't really have much. He's, he's been complaining about game time. He's not too happy about game time. Then our new signing, Molo. He's been six games, one off the bench. His first game that he played was off the bench. His six has been starting. He's got a 7.55 average. is really decent. You know, for for low finishing of 10, he's got four goals, two assists. So, pretty happy with that. So, I can't complain at all. And then, um, other new signing was Sebastian. I already showed you his stats. He's four at 7.1. And then Victor as well. Where blah, blah, blah. Victor there. He's only played the one, the four games with three off the bench. He's got one goal, three assists. And his average rating is at seven. And then we've got a new left wing back he's played two games and he's average of 6.9 so he's not bad but he's got phenomenal stats in that except for his marking his marking is very low it's at eight and his tackling is at nine so that's we're trying to work on that we're trying to push him up but yeah he's, he's 28 so we're not really going to get too much for him he is valued at 4.3 million and i got him in on a free transfer so we didn't have to pay anything for him so maybe we can give him a few games give him a good good run in the first team see how he goes and uh, yeah maybe sell him for a good decent profit um as for the games that have gone through i know i was meant to bring you the leeds game but it's it was a bit difficult uh, with the issues that i had on on the game and all that um transfers transfer history these are the guys i got in uh, this is a new youngster he's, he's he looks decent he's a three and a half star He's got some decent stats in there, so he's only what 19 years old, so we can train him up a bit. I'm probably not going to use him as much as a as he should be used. I'll probably use him as a. Mm, not sure actually. Training him up, uh, we'll get him to train up into. Let's get some of his stats in that going up. Let's get him in training now. Actually, we we'll put him as advanced playmaker. So he's, he's suited for an advanced playmaker. It's just his decisions are not so great. And his work rate is not great. His, his physical stats are not good. So we're going to use him and try and see if he, if he gets up. We got him on a free transfer. If he gets up, we're going to use him and sell him. He's valued at 90k. So hopefully we can push him up. He's only got 170 pounds per week. So it's not really taking much out of the budget. And uh, so, so that was... Basically the transfers. Panna, I've looked at Panna. He's, he's joining us in the first first of January, so they're quite happy about that. He's a young, promising centre midfield, and you see he's got some really good stats. And his his finishing is a bit low, but we can always work on that a little bit. He's still young, 25, and he can be pushed up. His determination is good. His physical stats are amazing. His mental stats are amazing. His technical stats are not bad at all. Um, so yeah, we. Hopefully you can get a decent thing. You see, he may have only an eight finishing. He's got two goals in four league games. His average rating is seven point six. So yeah, well, that's I'm quite happy about that. Um, we did have to pay a little bit, uh, forty-four thousand for him. He was valued at thirty thousand, so it wasn't so bad. But we still got decent wage budget remaining. Uh, transfer budget is zero. We got nothing left on the transfer budget. But I'm not complaining about that at all. But I wanted to take a look at this game and show you guys the goals here. And from what I can see, it was, well, from what I remember, it was a quite a decent game. We had uh, quite a bit of possession at first, and then it just dwindled down to a 50-50. And uh, got an early goal through noon. And we, we weren't doing too bad, you know. It's with the rain and that... Uh, uh, normally you change your passing style on that because of the ball being st struggling in that so we decided to, I decided just to leave it as was and then Walker got his f second goal of the season quite happy about that and uh, we went on the still on the attack so we, we, we were dominating possession and all that King with a great strike puts it into the bottom corner and we got our final goal our well, second last goal Again, Walker with a going for a double there. So it was a good strike again. Then Ipswich came through and got two easy goals. Off a header there. Poor defense with the cross. And then obviously another poor defense 
ball should have been dealt with. It was low in the corner. And then again they came through another set piece as such and then poor defense again. So that brought it to 3-4. And then we got the final word in and it was well played out. Um, good few little touches and then Noons with a long shot and he puts it in the back of the net. So that was the, the game so far. That was a decent game. Now we're going against Bristol City and we'll see how it goes up. As for the team selection, I think I'm going to keep the team selection as it is. Uh, probably just put this guy in and show you the competition so far. Bristol City is sitting in at 16th place. Uh, we're sitting at second, but uh, you know I can't cut anyone off. It's still early early time in the the, the season. Um, the only teams that are really struggling are down at the bottom: QPR, Derby, and Cardiff. And yeah, so can't cut anyone out at the moment. We keep the Lef Lefonte in and see how he does. I like to give the guys a bit of a motivational boost. Don't need to boost his motivation, he's already up there. And uh, last and not least, sorted. In talks, got kick off. Sideline, I want to change this to you. TV, TV's got a decent view. And Bristol City is on the tack. What can we do? They get, we clear the ball away, so it's not so bad. So far they've had most of the possession, but it seems to be evening out a little bit. Bristol City on the attack again, and they go for a shot, but it's saved. Nunes with the ball, Lafonde. Lafonde passes to Mola. What can Mola do? Oh. First clear cut chance and we didn't score. We should have scored from that one. Not so great. Carry can with the ball to Perry. Perry cross to Derby. Carry can. Noons. Noons to Fonte. Fonte with a wild shot. It's not so great. The only reason why he's in the squad is because he's complaining about f lack of first team football. So we had to put him in. Bristol City on the tack. We get it. Carrigan with a good tackle. And he loses the ball with a poor, pro poor attempt at a cross. Bristol City back on it. Woodrow to not even going to say his name, I'll probably butcher it. Lefondre. Up to Noons. What can Noon do? Noon's been not standing lately. It's been good. He crosses it and Molo puts it in the back of the net. For a player with only eight, nine finishing, he does pretty well. Quite happy with that. This Noon was all the space in the world then. A low flat cross. Molo at the end, puts it in the back of the net. Pushes up us up on goal difference into first place, which is quite surprising. Quite happy about that. And first clear cut chance for, for Bristol City, and they mess it up. Poor defense on our side. Carrigan's got the ball. He's pushing it back up. Perry back to Derby. Can Dobby cross it in? Who's on the end of it? Lafonte. That's 2 0 in a matter of minutes.
since I changed this tactic, we've we've been playing really really well. The only time we lost the game was when we had the strikeless formation and drew as well as with the strikeless formation. And all the times that we drew, we were behind and had to come back. So yeah, that's it's been a bit of a struggle, but we seem to find found a formation that the players are understanding, and they gelling together quite nicely. Now Bristol City on the attack, what can we do with the defence and we get the ball away nicely. Flo with a new signing, he's running up clear field and he just gets loses the ball there and half a hearted shot by Bristol City. Let's give them a shot to concentrate and who's in trouble? A red card. Ah, oh, okay, we're going to have to move uh, Henry back. Um, we're going to do a bit of an isometric formation, see how that will work out. Uh, he's in attack, he's in support. Yeah, let's see how that is. Keeps telling us we need to retain position, so let's try and see if we retain some position, see how that goes out. It's important that we keep four at the back. We don't want to lose uh, a little bit of a two goal cushion. At least we've had five shots, three on target, two clear, clear cut chances. Possession hasn't been the greatest though. Bristol City on the attack again, constantly on the attack. And they go for a shot but it's blocked and they're looking quite frustrated I've already given a team a shot so let's give them concentrate tell the team to concentrate do it with uh, his first yellow for the game Bristol on the attack, still on the attack, we get depossess him, get the ball back, yeah, it's not going so great with possession at all, come on guys, get the ball, hope this is not just a mundane highlight, wasting our time, Bristol City is playing some lovely football, yeah? Passing the ball around nicely, they go for a shot and it's off sides. Oh, they win a corner, luckily. Bristol City with the cross, corner cross, we clear it off the line. It's out the box, Henry with a big deep cross for out. Come on boys, we, can we get a third? We seem to be playing even worse now that we did that shot with retained possession, so I'm going to take that off. Keep them playing as they were. It was working for us, there's no need to change it out. What a good save. Bristol City with the attack again, nicely tackled there, and a horrible cross from Bristol City, it passes straight out. Possession has been terrible, 59 to 40%, that's not great. We've only had 5 shots, ever since the red card, it's, it's been not so great, I need to change the shot to stay on feet. Can't afford to get any more yellow cards. Going in towards half time now. Two minutes at a time. What can we get from this here? Oh! That was almost a goal. What can we get from here? Across to Wheatler. Wheatler is going to put it across to Noons. Noons going to fire a shot. Oh! And it's saved.
and you with the ball back to the keeper and that should be the end of the half half time let's go to dressing room team talk uh, place and things can turn around quickly tell them that uh, it was a good team talk quite happy with that everyone seems to be fairly 6.6 .6 De Witt is obviously not is struggling there it's not his position um, Perry is struggling a bit there Carrigan is struggling a bit there as well so hopefully they can push up a little bit and get some better stats Noons with the ball what's he going to do he gets to ball gets taken away from him and it goes out for a throw, taking throw in. Free kick now, Molo with the cross, Nunes with it. Nunes puts a shot in as horrible shot over the crossbar. I feel like I need to make a sub but I don't, I don't want to waste them just yet. Um, I feel like we should put a off sides at least. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is putting in my Sebastian in at the left wing, take him out, put David back in, and leave it as is. I want to change him to a Mazala on support. See how Perry will be the player as a Mazala. Oh, good save. Come on, guys. You know, with all this possession, you would think Bristol City would have be much more up. They'd be winning this game, but they're not. So we've Got a decent goalie, it's kept a clean sheet so far. Bristol City on the attack again and throws out out wide. Bristol City on the attack still. We haven't really done much attacking in the second half. Bristol City is really fighting back and there's a poor wayward cross. We're going to ever get anything back. Lefondre with the ball. Cross to Molo. Molo gets, loses the ball. Preston for Bristol City. Bristol City on the attack again. Reed, Reed goes for a cross header and saved by the keeper. Thinking we put in Taylor in Lafondres. He's been playing right, so but we're still going to drop him out. Um, and Wheatler's injured as well, so let's give Max Brighton his first match of the season. Confirm subs and let's hopefully Brighton does a decent play for us here. Um, I'm going to change my shot to get stuck back in. Hopefully they can get some possession in that back. Right to Molo. Molo back to Walker. Walker with the cross. Oh, and it's too close to the keeper. Steel deals with the cross decently. Bristol on the attack again. A clear cut chance and it was tipped away. They've had four clear cut chances and they've got nothing to show for it. And another one. Five clear cut chances. This is. Horrible game. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Let's tighten up. It just goes to show what happens when you lose a player to a red card. 
we just need to hold out for another five minutes call it ten minutes for added five minutes extra time oh yes give him a red card make it even and he just gets a yellow at least we got attacking free kick Let's see what can happen got an open man there crosses it in Walker across Mola oh and Mola just secures the game for us he puts a third in there's two goals for this game what a brilliant play by Walker it's been outstanding play nice little clip there with the pass that basically bags the game for us there's not much they could do to come back from this And they're just getting now crazy wild shots. They've had five clear cut chances. So yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 been so lucky that we've stayed up top. Molo again, can he get a fourth? Is he gonna cross it? Noons Noons oh Noons puts it straight into the keeper. That would have been cherry on the cake if we got the fourth there. Four minutes at a time. And this is obviously the last bit of play. Uh, keeper should kick it and that should be the end of the match there we go well guys that was a bit of a scrappy game not the best game that we've had um, obviously the new debutante there Max Brighton is well deserved for him talk to the team I'm pleased with the results overall and leave match <coughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying this save so so long, so hopefully we can keep this run going. Wheatler is out for one to two days, so that's not too bad. Um, Brighton makes professional debut, which is a good thing for him. Uh, Moller takes the top of the pops, uh, man of the match, 9.2 with two stunning goals. Flo banned for one match. Um, we're going to issue a warning. Uh... Don't appeal. Issue a warning. Confirm. So yeah, hopefully he accepts his warning. He knows he did wrong. But uh, anyway. Okay guys, let's take a look at the schedule. Yes, has still quite a lot of games to go. So hopefully we can do a little bit decent. We've got the FA Cup third round coming up. Don't know who we're going to be playing there. I'm probably going to run through about four or five games and then bring you the next game depending on how the table positions go if I want to try and bring you all the top top games the top flight top 10 games and uh, from the league so there's the competition yeah I want to try and bring you all these top 10 games so from Norwich up to us bring you all the games there so top nine games and uh, hopefully we can see how things are going but let's take a look at our uh, not post pre uh, season previews we still topped at 1,000 to 1 odds, so, and then, yeah, so we're looking at finish at 18th. So far, we're in first place, so that's pretty decent. Um, we have no players in the top here, except Flanagan. Flanagan is probably the only player that's uh, is featuring for us. Um, yeah, so it's decent that, but he isn't even in the team. Yeah, we, we haven't really started him much. Um, He's played two games, he's only got a 7.1, so he's going to start playing a little bit more. But yeah, that will be the next few games. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more, like it if you liked the video. And uh, subscribe to my Twitter for more updates, and that's for upcoming videos, and to my Patreon. Much appreciated. Thanks guys, cheers for now.